Let's fetch a timeline from Premiere Pro. In Color Lab, you need to start from an empty area. So I'm going to go up to the file menu and just say new. Everything is now blank. When you first install Color Lab, it adds a panel to Premiere, but you can always, after the fact, install the Premiere workflow just in case you install Premiere after you install Color Lab. Now that panel exists here in Premiere Pro and it needs to be actually visible. I'm going to show you how to open it up. It's found here under the Windows menu, under extensions, called Color Lab AI. And when you first have it, it's going to be floating. You can see it's just floating around here. If you grab the name, the tab, you can dock it into any part of the interface. And that's exactly what I do. I have it docked and I personally save my own workspace with Color Lab pre-built. Do that now, save it to workspace and call it Color Lab. It's using an API that Adobe provides. And if it's not actually a live panel, whether or not it's visible, it just has to be in the interface or in some way, Color Lab won't work. Once it's live and active like this, we switch to Color Lab. We say fetch from Premiere. And when we do so, it brings up our camera profiles box, which we're going to talk about in the next movie.